We're asked to solve the given linear equation in one variable. For the first step, we will simplify the equation. To simplify an equation means to eliminate parentheses and combine like terms on both sides of the equation. Notice how for this equation, there are parentheses on both sides. We can clear the parentheses on the left by distributing 0 0.35 or 35 hundredths. And we can clear the parentheses on the right by distributing 0 0.2 or 2 tenths. Distributing on the left, 0 0.35 times x is 0 0.35x minus 0 0.35 times 0 0.6 is 0 0.21 equals, on the right side, distributing 0 0.2, we have 0 0.2 times x, or 0 0.2x, plus 0 0.2 times 1.2, which is 0 0.24. Now that we've simplified the equation, Notice how the equation does contain decimals. While we could solve the equation by leaving the decimals in the equation, let's multiply both sides of the equation by a value that will clear the decimals from the equation. Remember, 0 0.35 is 35 hundredths. So as fractions, all the decimals have a denominator of 100, except 0 0.2 would have a denominator of 10. So just like when working with fractions, we can clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which in this case would be 100. We should also remember that when multiplying a decimal by 10, the shortcut is to move the decimal one place to the right. So to clear the decimals from this equation, we would have to move the decimal two places to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 100. The next step is to multiply both sides of the equation by 100. One hundred times zero point three five x is thirty five x minus one hundred times zero point two one is twenty one equals on the right side we need to be careful with this product one hundred times zero point two x is twenty x. If we take a closer look at zero point two times one hundred, we move the decimal point two places to the right, so once and then twice. We have a missing digit. We always fill in missing digits with zeros, which does give us a product of 20, which is why when distributing 100 here, we do get 20x. And then we have plus 100 times 0 0.24, which is 24. Now we have an equivalent equation that does not contain decimals. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation and the constant term on the other. In this equation, we have variable terms on both sides and constants on both sides. And therefore, we will add or subtract to collect the variable terms on one side and collect the constant terms on the other. We have 35x on the left and 20x on the right. Let's collect the variable terms on the left side so the coefficient remains positive. So moving to the right side, we need to add or subtract to undo positive 20x. The next step is subtract 20x on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, 35x minus 20x is 15x. We have 15x minus 21 equals, on the right side, 20x minus 20x is zero, which is why we subtracted 20x on both sides. The right side is now just 24. Again, we still need to isolate the variable term 15x by collecting the constant terms on the other side. To isolate 15x, we need to undo minus 21 by adding 21 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative 21 plus 21 is zero, which again is the reason why we added 21 to both sides. We now have 15x equals 24 plus 21 is 45. Notice now we have an equation where the variable term is isolated on one side of the equation and the constant term is isolated on the other. The next step is to multiply or divide to solve the equation for x or isolate x on one side of the equation. Because 15x means 15 times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, the next step is divide both sides by 15. Simplifying 15 divided by 15 is one. One times x is x. We have x equals 45 divided by 15 is three. The solution to the equation is x equals three. 
which means if we substitute three for x in the original equation, it must satisfy the equation or make the equation true. Let's take the time and verify that our solution is correct. Substituting three for x in the original equation, we have 0 0.35 times the quantity three minus 0 0.6 equals 0 0.2 times the quantity three plus 1.2. And now we simplify both sides of the equation following the order of operations. We simplify inside the parentheses first. 3 minus 0 0.6 is 2.4. On the left we have 0 0.35 times 2.4. On the right we have 0 0.2 times 3 plus 1.2 is 4.2. Going back to the left we multiply 0 0.35 times 2.4 is 0 0.84. On the right, 0 0.2 times 4.2 is also 0 0.84. Because we have a true statement, this verifies the solution x equals 3 is correct. I hope you found this helpful.